Hello fellow coders. In this video, I will show you how to use Google Tasks List API with Python to update your Google Tasks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. To start, we will enable the Task List API in our Google Cloud. I will leave in the description the link to access your Google Cloud. For this case, I will need to provide my Gmail credentials. It seems another account was saved. So, I will switch to different account for this tutorial. Now, let's select the project. If there is no existing project, you can create one with the new project link. In the Enable APIs and Services tab, click the link, plus, Enable APIs and Services. Search for the Google Tasks List API. For this case, in my account, I already enabled it. Now, let's create the credentials to use to securely access our task list. Click, plus, create credentials. Click OAuth client ID. Choose application type, desktop app. Add the name of your app. Click Create. Click Download JSON. Here is the downloaded credentials. Let's rename it to credentials.json. Now, go to the OAuth Consent Screen tab. This is the setting for the screen when asking permission to allow an app to use your Google Task List API. Right now, I already set this up. Provide the support email and the email to be used for testing. Note we will be using the testing option. Again this is the email we will use for testing. Again this is the email we will use for testing. So far that's it consent screen. Note we will be using the testing option. So far that's all for enabling our Google API. Now, let's start with the Python code. I will refer to Google's guide to do this. I will leave in the description the link. This is the pip install code to install the Google Client Library. Now I will create the directory for our Python code. By the way, I will be copying some codes from my guide to shorten this tutorial.
Let's start with this empty folder for the continuation of our Python code. I will add in this folder the credentials.json we downloaded earlier. I will rename the credentials JSON to secretfile.json. Next, I will open the folder in VS Code. Then, I will create the file for coding Python. I will open terminal and input the pip install code I've shown earlier to install the Google client library. Let's refer to Google's guide for the necessary imports. Again, I will leave in the description the link for this guide. From here, I will refer to my guide for the codes. I will add the comment for the purpose of the code. This method generates the access token. Let's call get credential method and return credential object. Now I will add the build service method. Let's call get service to return the instance of service we can use in our entire code. Now I will define the main method. For testing of token generation I will call, get credential. When we combine this task list API with Flask, we will need to keep accessing the token.json.
Now, let's call the main method. I will run the Python file to check if it successfully generates the token.json. So the consent screen we set up earlier in Google API showed. Now we allowed our app to access our task list API. Let's check if an access token was successfully generated. It appears it was successful. Kindly wait for a while. I am logging to my Google Tasks. For this tutorial let's try to access my episode 3 task list with 3 tasks. I will call a method to get the task lists from Google Tasks. Note, to make this tutorial short, I will copy some of my previous code. I will share in the description the link to download the codes. This is the method I created to read the parent task lists from my Google Tasks. Let's try to run this method and list the names of task lists. We successfully retrieved one parent task titled, Episode 3. I also displayed its ID so we can access the tasks under it. Now, I will create another task list to demonstrate it can retrieve multiple task lists. Let's rerun the Python file to check if we can retrieve the new task list. It appears it was successful. Now, I will use the ID of first task list to get the tasks under it. Here, I will paste the method I already created. I will provide the link in the description so you can download the codes. For this method, the first parameter is the ID of the task list and second parameter is true if you want to display as well the completed task otherwise set it to false.
Let's run the file and check if we can retrieve the tasks under episode 3. It appears we successfully retrieved all three tasks under episode 3. Now, let us try to update a task to complete it. Again, I will use a method I already prepared. I will leave in the description a link so you can download it. Updating task status to completed marks it as check while updating it to needs action, marks it as unchecked. Sorry, I'm supposed to call the set status method here instead of get tasks from list. And so we got an error. My bad. Well, let's try again using set status method. There, we successfully set the task to completed. Let's try to mark the task to needs action. There, we successfully updated the task to needs action. I already created a library of methods so you can easily perform basic stuffs in your Google task list. I will leave the link in the description so you can download the file. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you on the next tutorial.